officers had come after complaints about newspapers being stolen from a shop. When they arrived, they realized they needed more help and radioed for a second car. The police officers were trying to arrest the suspect when the car they'd called for assistance careered off the road and hit them. It's still not clear what caused the accident. The car ended up by crashing into a shop front, waking nearby residents. Well, I heard this almighty crash and I woke up and I heard these terrible screams. It sounded like a dog, so I thought a dog had been run over. But as I got to the door, I saw a police car over a man and looked if the man's legs were under the police car. Three officers and the passenger in the police car suffered a variety of injuries, including broken ribs, whiplash and shock. A further three officers and the man they were trying to arrest are in a satisfactory condition in Fazakali Hospital. An inquiry is being held into the incident and Merseyside Police's Special Investigation Unit has attended the scene. The father of an acrobat who died during a performance at the Blackpool Tower Circus says he wants to see the equipment from which his son fell destroyed. 20-year-old Neville Campbell from Stoke fell during a wheel of death act in front of hundreds of spectators. It was business as usual at the Tower Circus today. Management had been prepared to cancel the shows, but the performers told them they wanted to go on. The executive general manager of the Blackpool Tower witnessed the accident. I saw the incident myself. Um, and it just appears to be a, a tragic case of human error. At a news conference, Neville Campbell's father, also called Neville, spoke of his son's circus career. He started off at the age of three as a stilt walker, at the age of three. You know, he was even christened on stilts. And uh, he did all sorts, and in later years, when he was around about eight and nine, we trained him up for hand balance, and he used to do one hand balances and everything like that, such, such an uh, early age. Neville Campbell died when he lost his balance on this, the wheel of death. Two large metal cages which rotate on an axle which is hung from a cable from the circus roof. He fell 12 feet to the floor. People think it's more dangerous than it usually is. It's been around 20, 30 years a concept, but this is the first fatal accident. And I mean, it's just such a shame it happened to such a young boy. A post-mortem examination has been carried out. The police say there are no suspicious circumstances. An inquest will be opened later this week. And a man has died following a fire at his flat in Southport. Emergency services were called to Portland Street in the early hours of the morning, but found the young man already dead. An investigation is underway, but police don't believe there are any suspicious circumstances. Sport now and today's football results. In Division 1, Bolton 1, Tranmere 0, Grimsby 1, Oldham 3... In Division 2, Bournemouth 1, Crewe 1, Blackpool 1, Stockport County 2, Chester City 1, Brentford 4. And in Division 3, Carlisle United 3, Bury 0, Rochdale 0, Walsall 2. And let's take a look at the weather. It'll remain dull and wet with heavy rain tonight and fog on high ground. Temperatures will rise to 10 degrees Celsius overnight. That's all from us until our next news just before 10 o'clock tonight. Until then, good evening. In a new series starring George Baker... Lord Fauntleroy is coming home. ...an ordinary American boy learns he's the grandson to a rich and notorious English lord. We're going to a new life with new people to meet and new places to see. Summoned to England, his life is to change forever. Hi there, everybody. I'm pleased to know you. <laughs> An engaging rags to riches tale. A true classic. Little Lord Fauntleroy begins New Year's Day at 4.55 on BBC One. There's a trip to Ramsey Street in 25 minutes, but our journey now on BBC One is to the market, where anything can happen to Pigling Bland.